Let's do this. What's up, everyone? Empowered Q is here, bringing you some more League of Legends action. Got kind of a funny one for you today. We are going some Glacial Augment Jax. Uh, going against the Quid, so I thought this would be kind of interesting to do. Get the slow. Get back in. I got a lot of uh, sustain here with Doran Shield start, so kind of want to tease her a little bit at first. Because she does not have sustain. So I want to get that glacial augment proc. Let's pop my potion. There's her flash. Cool. Not her flash, her uh, ignite. So now I can just hang back, sustain a little bit. And if I ever get a jungle gank, should be good to go. <laughs> Gotta respect the level two. But yeah, probably gonna go for a pretty big split push centric uh, build. I'd like to rush up. That was cool. Alright. The Lee Sin Flash Kick Gang. Oh, Jacob was walking at her. Slower. She dead. Cool. We got back. We're still good. <laughs> Alright, I want to push this wave in. And then probably back and by. So, a little bit about my runes. I took Glacial Augment to kind of slow her down. Uh, I think I'm going to go Blade of the Ruined King to get myself some attack speed and damage. Uh, which should be pretty fun. That'll give me another slow to just kind of run her down and heal through her damage. And then Trinity Force. Probably Sterix. Should be pretty good. But yeah, I went for a very sustain heavy build. So I got some biscuit delivery. I want to get a free pair of boots, some extra CDR. I got cosmic, uh, what's it called? Insight. So that'll get me a faster cooldown on my blade when I get there. It should be good. This way we'll slowly push in. So I'm going to grab an armor cloth and a long sword and a control ward. Nice. Yeah, she needs four minions for a free, so that's not going to freeze. Anytime Graves comes top two, I think it's free. So. <laughs> that's the thing about a lot of these uh, range matchups. It's all about their early game power. So if Quinn doesn't win early and snowball that lead, then... Uh, it's pretty much GG for it, because eventually with my Q cooldown and all that stuff, I'm just going to run her down. I'll probably go for a uh, Q max second as well. This wave is going to push to me, so no reason to get overly aggressive with all these minions. Slowly walk away. I'll be in a very good position, level 6 too. Quinn's level 6 is more for roaming and stuff like that, where mine is... Is for actual damage. See, look how little damage she does to me now. So, want to wait for those three procs to disappear. If she does her kick move, I can look to... Oh. Damn. I did not see Graves coming, not going to lie. Oh well. I would have gone more aggressive on that if I noticed. That's cool. I could zone her off all these minions. Just kind of hang around. That's why I like a slow from a board. Um, a cutlass is going to be really helpful. I want to start maxing. At least get a few points into Q. And once I get my level 6, the kind of trade I want to do is to prep my passive, which is on the third auto attack, do extra damage. The only downside about this build, though, is the lack of attack speed feels really bad. Gotta be careful for Lee Sin. Gotta get a ward down. Back up. Cool. I want to get this wave shoved in as safely as possible. I see Lee Sin. So I can push this in. Nice. I got my level 6. Look to back here. 
Oh, she face checks. Oh, I got spotted, I think. Pop this. Walk away. So, one, two. Like that. Yep. Flash on her, guarantee the stun. Slow from my glacial augments. Good stuff. Push this wave in. She doesn't have teleport, so I'm free to do that. And then I can back. Keep working towards my Blade of the Ruined King. Nice. I could go Gunblade too. Actually, I think Gunblade will be better. Especially if I do Rage Blade. They both get me what I want, and they don't have any tanks, so. Go like this. Perfect. Uh, go like that. Let me cool. add him. Nice, now I have an extra slow. Uh, Spirit Visage would also be really, really good here. Um, they have lots of magic damage. The heals from the Soraka, and I'm building Lifesteal. If I didn't mention before, too, I'm doing with my boy Odin here. I think we can get her. Nope. Back up. My E's not up. As soon as my E's up, then I can. Alright, we can re-engage in a second. Alright, back up. Alright, let's get out of here. What? Jump to the graves. I call shenanigans on that. <laughs> LeBlanc's coming in. Yeah. What's this? Oh god, we have lots of friends. Alright. Okay. I still think that worked out in our favor. Do I have my boots? Yes, I have my boots. Nice. Cool. What is this Nidalee doing? Run back top. Try to get this wave. If they could keep a... Uh... That was interesting. <laughs> Whoa, whiff of the skill shots. The longer Quinn stays here, the better for me. I want to hard push this wave. Get some tower pressure. Now that I have boots too, it's going to be infinitely easier to catch her. I have my Bork, so no matter what she does, I should be able to kill her now. I don't think she could safely hang out in lane. Be careful for the Quinn ultimate. She gets there super quickly now. Yeah, if you guys are low, I'd back. I want to force a back lane up here. If I see her, I want to definitely continue pushing. Nice. Okay. See her there. I can get the uh, scuttle crab, get myself some vision here. I could get this uh, plant. I can head mid. Over that. I don't think I can kill the LeBlanc, but I got my Cutlass. So we'll see. Yeah. That's about what I expected. Had to stop her from getting all that free damage on tower, though. Luckily, that's only like a 60 second cooldown. Head back top. Bring it on. Like I said, I don't think this... So Quid's goal now is just going to be to roam and not fight me. Because I don't think she can anymore. Yeah, she's one and two. Like I said, I'm just going to slow her to the point where she can't do anything. 
Easy. Easy peasy. <laughs> the cooldown on my jump is just too low for her, so when she uses her kickback on me, I can just re-engage. And the slow from the Glacial Augment guarantees the kill. With Graves here, maybe we could get first tower. He has the red buff, which does extra damage to towers. We see LeBlanc and Lee Sin, so we could get aggressive for this. Man, we gotta hurry. Alright, well, we got first tower. So that's good. See how close am I? I can sell the Rejuve Bead. Got my gun blade. Gonna start working towards my Trinity Force next because I need some tanky stats. But this is gonna help me catch up to her even more so I can actually stun her and start walking up to her and not prop my E. This is one of those games where I saw the uh, nid mid and I'm like, I should dodge this. <laughs> I need to wait another second for that, dang. But only a 30 second cooldown, especially after the uh, cosmic insight, so thank you for the heals. But I ward that. Ward right over here. She don't want to fight me no more. I'm gonna get a stinger first though, because my gosh, this is lack of attack speed hurt. <laughs> I have my teleport for a play bottom if they want to force this tower. Don't know where Quinn is, so I want to push this past river. I see Blitzcrank. There's Lee Sin. Yeah. I could have told you that. There's four of them there. I'm coming. Thank you for the rift. <laughs> Wait for her to kick me back. Simple. There we go. Did we get rift or today? Yeah, I did get rift. <laughs> Uh, all right. Saw that uh, Lee Sin was super low, so I just popped him with the gun blade, slowed him down, stunned him, so that way he couldn't get the Rift Herald. Now force this tower, and we can rotate down bottom. What a uh, Nidalee. You won't, Lee Sin. You won't. Gonna head bot lane, probably force this tower, get a control ward. Come to the day. Oh, let's go right here. Shh. Shh. Oh god. Back it up. Back it up. I gotta wait till my ego's up. <laughs> no! <laughs> I was bouncing around like pew pew pew. Alright, well, still get bottom tower, so. Heal from uh, the gunblade, and you definitely saved me. <laughs> Trust in the heals. Trust in the rocker. I'll go top, cover LeBlanc, continue building towards my Trinity. I got like 2,000 gold. I did, yeah. The giant wave here is worth more than that, though. You can go ham. I'm on my way up here. I'm not worried about her anyways. Oh. 
Really? <laughs> I'll take it! I forgot that they, uh, about the Mimic passive, not gonna lie. I gotta buy for the Mimic passive, like when you do so much damage, because I flashed a burster down to kill her. And, uh... I'm just gonna TP in. He's dead. You ain't going nowhere! You're fine. It's fine. <laughs> Alright. Giga Dragon. We might win with a Nid Mid. Nid Mid. I'm not gonna lie, she's doing pretty good, but also this LeBong's a piece of shit. Yeah. I kind of like the Glacial Augment. I think it's cool. Definitely helps with the range matchups. And Lux out. I think this works when they don't have any tanks on their team. Like, I don't need Conqueror for anything. Like, who, like, damage wise, who am I gonna have a hard time killing? Like, Besides that weirdly sin gank at the start, been a very successful game. I definitely think it's good into range matchups. I've done it into Teemo and stuff like that before too, and it's pretty helpful. <laughs> Just can't get away from me. <laughs> and the pro heals. Mid heals, Soraka heals, all the heals. Alright. Oh god. Oh god. So funny. All of the heals. Nice. Got my Trinity. And gonna go for a Rage Blade next. Surprise, I'm back. Mad split pushing power. Hey, babe. Don't mind that. Hey, babe. <laughs> yeah, I'm still in the first game, but I'll go and open up the door for Ready for battle. But. Let's see here. Yeah. Um, we want to prep for Baron. I can get a control ward up over here. Pop this orb here. Woohoo! All the friends. I can 1v9, it's cool. I can't- oh my god, there's so many of them! <laughs> Sorry about that. That's cool. Ooh. This gr- oh! <laughs> This grave is clutch! Well, I guess Ferris might get a uh, tower down here. I went a little too ham, but that's okay. All right, let's get back to Baron. Ooh, time to kill a Draven. Oh, he's gonna run away, sad. All right. 
I think we just do Baron. All four of them are at base. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. They don't have any vision. We got the heals. Yeah. The blocks come so we gotta be a little careful, but. What happened? How'd you all die? Well, I died because I was taking Baron damage because uh, I was trying to heal you and you were running away from me. And I took the two Baron hits and it almost killed me. Gotcha. I tried to, uh, I wanted to take Lee Sin out so he couldn't smite Steel. Hmm. As long as they don't get the in-hip, I think we're fine. I can teleport back over here, too. Let's see. Let's see if I can catch someone. Nice. Let me just push mid. Yep, just end it. We got 30 seconds. With a weak as crap Draven. The only one we gotta worry about really is Lee Sin, but. We gotta. Yeah, let's hit this one. Perfect. That TP. Cool. I'll take it. I think I like you playing Soraka support. <laughs> it enables you to be retarded. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Stupid plays. Uncle Cool. Well, I like the Glacial Aquaman. I think that's kind of fun and interesting to do. It definitely allows you to keep on top of the squishies. I mean, that's the thing about Quinn. Like, me killing her from a damage perspective, never going to be a problem. But the Glacial Aquaman allows me to jump on her, stick, and then I max my Q instead of my W, and just keep jumping on top and get the kill quick and easy. So besides that silly early Lee Sin gank, I think it went very, very well. I hope you guys liked that one. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good jazz, and catch you next time. Peace.